Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining the process of gene cloning. First step in the process of gene cloning is to create a recombinant bacterial plasmid. Now this involves taking a bacterial plasmid and the gene of interest that you want to clone, for example, the human insulin gene, and cutting both of these two things with the same restriction enzyme. Now this will help you to create complementary sticky ends that you can see here. We then need to fuse the gene with the plasmid and we do this by adding ligase, which is an enzyme that sort of acts like a bit of a glue. Now, as well as that gene of interest, often a gene that gives antibiotic resistance is generally also added to that bacterial plasmid. And we'll see why in just a second. But now, so far we have, we have created our recombinant plasmid. In the next step, we now need to get the bacteria to actually take up this plasmid. And so we can do this through different processes such as electroporation or heat shock, which should get the bacteria to actually take up that plasmid within the cell. So now that we've done that, we need to be able to determine whether the bacteria have successfully taken up that plasmid or not. And so we can do this by plating the bacteria onto agar that contains the antibiotic that we hopefully have given the bacteria resistance for. So this means that if the bacteria can successfully grow on the agar with that antibiotic on it, then it has successfully taken up that plasmid because it has a gene that's giving it resistance to the antibiotic. Whereas if the bacteria are unable to survive on the agar containing that antibiotic, it means that that plasmid has not successfully been taken up within that bacterial cell. So now that we have determined which bacteria have taken up those plasmids, those bacteria will replicate and hopefully they will express that gene that we have added in. For example, we can now get the bacteria to express the human insulin gene and this could then be taken and used for treatment later on. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys found that helpful.